विद्यार्थी मित्रो आज अपन विस्टोन ब्रिज और विस्टोन नेटवर्क हिचल महती पहा विस्टोन इज द नेम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट दिस साइंटिस्ट डिजाइन ब्रिज हेन्स कॉल विस्टोन ब्रिज एंड दिस Western bridge used to determine unknown registers, and this western obtained the balancing condition of western network or western bridge, and this balancing condition of western bridge is also useful to determine unknown registers. now consider consider four registers p q r and s r situated at point a b c and d as shown in figure the four register points point a point b point c point d register p q r yes this four register registers p q r s are situated also in figure in this circuit diagram the four resistors p q r s are connected as like a bridge hence it is called western bridge and across a and across point a and across point b we connect a external source that is battery and plug key if key is closed the electric current i is passing through this circuit electric current i is passing through this circuit but the current reach at point a suppose i1 its current passing through register p and i2 its current passing through register s that means the current the current
सर्ट के लिए बट एट पॉइंट ए करंट आईवर इज पासिंग थ्रू अपार ए बी सी एंड करंट आई टू इज पासिंग थ्रू पार ए डी सी ए डी सी एंड एट पॉइंट ए एंड एट पॉइंट सी द टोटल करंट I is equal to I one plus the galvanometer, whose resistance G is connected between point B and point C. The galvanometer, whose resistance G is connected. Between point B and point D, the current I one passing through A to B. Suppose I C, its current passing through galvanometer. Then the current passing through Q is I one minus. At point D, the current I G and current I two that is the current passing through R is I two plus. The current passing through resistance P is I one. Current passing through resistance Yes is I two. The current passing through galvanometer is I G. The current passing through resistance Q is I one minus I G. And current passing through resistance R is I two plus. That is current at point A and current at point C is same. In figure, this because of that galvanometer, there are two loops. The first loop is A, B, D, A, and second loop is C. B D C. Using Kirchhoff's law for first loop, also we use Kirchhoff's law for second loop. The first loop.
the direction of current and potential is opposite means potential is positive therefore plus i2 yes or this is equal to according to kirchhoff's law or according to kirchhoff's second law according to kirchhoff's second law for first loop abda we get equation minus i1 p minus ig into g plus i2 into s say equation number now in next loop that is in second loop c b d c this is the second loop according to reach of second law the current b to c c to d and d to c or c to b b to d or d to c this is the second law according to this law at point b suppose b to c the potential is negative hence minus into bracket i1 minus ig at point c potential is positive that is plus into bracket i2 plus ig into resistance R or plus I G into G equal to zero. Or this resistance is Q. We get minus I one Q minus minus plus I G Q. Plus I two R plus I G R plus I G into G equal to zero. So equation second. Equation one due to first loop. Equation two due to second loop. If we assume that the current passing through galvanometer is zero that is that is ig is equal to zero this ig is equal to zero that means the potential at point b and potential at point d is same then if ig is equal to zero this equation one become this equation one become this ig is equal to zero that means this term become zero therefore minus i1 p plus i2 s is equal to zero for this gives I one P equal to I two yes. So equation three. If we assume that no current passing through this galvanometer, I G is equal to zero, then equation one becomes I one P plus I two yes is equal to three. Also. Equation two become equation two become we put I is equal to zero. Then this term 
becomes zero. This term becomes zero. This term becomes zero. Only minus I one Q plus I two R is equal to zero. The equation two become minus I one Q plus I two R is equal to zero. Or this gives minus I one Q is equal to minus I two R. Or this gives I one Q is equal to I two R. Same equation. Four. We get equation three and equation four. Divide. Divide. Equation three by four. We get divide equation four by three. We get. We get I one P divided by I one Q is equal to I two yes divided by I two I one I one cancel. I two I two cancel. We get P divided by Q is equal to yes divided by. And this equation that is P divided by Q is equal to yes divided by R is called balancing condition. Balancing condition. Of piston bridge. It's called the balancing condition of piston bridge or piston network. And this balancing condition is useful to determine unknown resistance.